vegan as well. Oh, so cool. He, okay. He's not vegan. Don't try to escape me. So why do you care about if an animal is treated cruelly? What did I just take away from this animal? Their entire existence for a flavor. Weighing that up, is that justified? I see it from both sides. The other side is not to the extreme. Of course. I love your videos. Do you really? Yeah, I always watch them. Oh, do you? I get a photo yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. What's your name? Kat. Hello, Kat. I'm vegan as well. Oh, so. cool. Are you going to a vegan restaurant? Uh, we're going to a place with vegan options because he, okay. he's not vegan. But he's well, you, that means you need to come here and look at the footage. Like, don't try to escape me. Not yet. Not yet. Has he seen my though. YouTube channel? No, he hasn't. No, no. I will. I will. He's going to watch one. There's one called Confronting a Local Family Slaughterhouse. It's new. Watch that one if okay. you can. All right, I'll, I'll do send that. it to him. I'll, I'll do promise? That. I promise. And you send me an email, tell me what he thinks. I'm open to opinions, so I'm Okay, open. okay, cool. I don't close it. I want to show you the difference between what they tell you and what actually happens. Okay. They basically rely on propaganda and people not knowing. So you get told a certain picture of what you think happens, but it's way different. I think a lot of people don't consider like, animals like animals. No. Don't. Oh, sorry. I think most people. No, I think people do care. I think you care about animals. If you, if I had a pig here I and I was trying to stab them, I, you would probably stop listen, me. I, lo I love animals. Yeah. So I do care about animals. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah, and if you, I believe that if you were connected to that, what it's you're very paying hard, for. Isn't it, to, yeah. To they, they've disconnected you from the process. Uh, I've seen some local schools as well. I've been, I've done seen three. Yeah. Uh, one in Portugal, two over here. And the way that they were treated was better than I've seen in the mass facility. Yeah, yeah, I disagree with. with so where did you see this? So two in Essex. So were you in person there? In person, yeah. I mean, if you're there, they're probably going to be behaving themselves. But uh, we left a secret camera, and no one knew. Right. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever tried trading places with an animal in a slaughterhouse in your mind. Right. Slaughterhouses are not nice places. They're the worst places I've ever seen on earth. I have to say, the ones I went to was very respectable, and I know you're saying that because I was there, but it was very respectable, and they showed me the whole routine of what they do, from the Portuguese way to the way I learned here. What animal? Two cows, one pig, and the pig was, uh, yeah, yeah. More anxious? A little bit, yeah. What did you think about that, like just, a pig one. with a pig one? I was a bit, like you said, a bit anxious about it. Uh, but then it was just quick, that's it. The cows were was more the bullet and the, and the little the, the gun thing that they've got. So what do you think of that, like shooting someone in the head? Like, do you think that's uh, an ethical thing to do? Just Well, I mean, it's not an ethical thing to do, but it's better than... Other Torturing them. Yeah. Other religions, the way that they do with, you know... Non-stun. Let's just say there was another option, right? You've got the, the torture them yeah. and kill them. You've got the don't torture them, just shoot them really quickly, yeah. nice and quick. And then you've got the don't kill them. What's the most ethical thing to do? Well, I mean, obviously not killing them, but I mean, I'm a meat eater. So I do, I, I do like to eat you know, meat and, and steak as well. You eat fishes well, as well. But I go to the butchers. I don't buy packet food. I go to the butchers. Traditional butchers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I get my fresh as well from the from the fishmongers. Fishmong. Yeah, the, yeah. the fish don't actually get killed at the fishmongers. They get dragged up off the boat and they suffer yeah. horrible deaths. Listen, I'd rather get it from a packeted one at least. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, when you go to the butcher, you can never guarantee what happened to that animal before they were killed. If I put myself in the mind of a cow, I still don't think it's justified for what you get out of it. What I get out of eating a cow is a meal that I'll forget because it's not that important to me, actually. I mean, I like the taste at the time, and I'm like, yeah, I'd like to eat this. But afterwards, I'm just as satisfied as if I'm eating a vegan meal. But to that cow, like what you take from them is so much more than what you gain from eating them. I think there is justifiable reasons to kill people and to kill animals. Certain situations, self-defense, lions chasing you down, you're about to die of starvation, you know, yeah. zombie apocalypse. Yeah. I just yeah. don't think for like a five minute meal, shooting an animal in the head is, with, even if they don't suffer, is morally justified. But a five minute meal could be actually, you know, producing to a, a, a meal that could last you for a long time. You really think about it. You know, yeah, but, it on all the but if you see it as a dog or a cat, you wouldn't feel the same. So exactly, like if it was a dog, let's just say it's a 10 minute steak, most people would be like, no way, not the dog. But a cow, because we've been... We've been drunk into that. Yeah, yeah. I, Cows I, are for I, eating, I, dogs are for... Yeah, Cows I understand that. that. It's called speciesism, actually. There's a word for it, and it's where we discriminate based on species, but there's no real moral 
weight to that de decision. It's all arbitrary. That's our psychology, isn't it? Yeah. Because really a cow and a dog and a pig, they're pretty similar animals. Yeah. They're actually, pigs are more intelligent than dogs. We eat pigs, no problem. Like, it's all good. Never eat a dog though, but why not? Like, it's because we've decided these animals are for this, them animals are for this. It's wrong to kill them. It's okay to kill them. But through the eyes of the animals, they exp their experience is what matters. Yeah. So the way I see it, one can't bear to watch an animal being killed and, you know, in pain and suffering. It makes me angry and upset and I don't want to be a part of it. Yeah. Whereas some people can watch it and be like, mm -hmm. I don't like to look at it from our perspective, humans, because it's more about like how the victim feels. Because everyone's like, yeah, I, I can watch it, no worries. I'm okay with it, I'm not okay with it. Well, that's how that's how we feel. Like when you look at it, look at issues of injustice or unfairness, where there's a victim, you always go, how does a victim feel? Is this justified? Yeah, yeah, I get that. Because we're always going to look through the lens of our conditioning and our habits and, you know, what we like to eat and things like this, but... Yeah. I understand that. I, yeah. I understand that. I get, I get that. But it's hard, to, it's hard for me to kind of revert, you know, immediately. Oh, no, no, these are all seeds that are... Yeah, these yeah, are all just yeah, things yeah. to think about. Yeah. You know? I mean, like I say, I, I, I don't like animals being... You know, we had this conversation before when we were standing over there saying... No, I don't like animals being treated, you know. You don't look badly. like that type of person, and you don't sound like that type of person. <laughs> yeah. Because um, I'm quite empathetic, so you, I can I, feel I, it I, from you. Know, you. Yeah, yeah, but I so don't like to cause cause harm to to you know animals that that, that, that you know should need it. And I know it's different in that sense. You're saying when it comes to the meat industry, where they're gonna feel that. It's, just, it's, it's hard because we don't obviously see that that time. Oh yeah, understand. you're disconnected from it. Yeah, so, so why do you care about if, if an animal is treated cruelly? Why do you care about that? What matters about an animal? So I do feel, I, like you're saying, I do feel for the animal. Do you think there's like an individual inside of an animal that has their own preferences and desires? And If I was to torture a cow right now, why, why would you care about that cow? I think everyone would try and stop it. Yeah, 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 but I want to know why they would, why you would care about a cow. Because it's the suffering, isn't it? It's the stopping the suffering. The suffering. It's again, it's just something that I will see at that point in time. Yeah. We don't see it behind yeah. the doors and stuff. So who's suffering? It's not, suffering doesn't exist unless it's attached to someone. Someone can only suffer. Things can't suffer. So suffering isn't something that's out there in the ether. Yeah. Suffering happens to an individual. It happens to you, it happens to you, it happens to me, it happens to a dog. Yeah. So you care about the individual is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So don't you care that someone would come up and rob them of their experience? You care about that individual. Of course. Yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah, like, I don't know if you got it. If I've got family, right? If someone shot my brother in the head, no matter how quick, or it doesn't even have to be my brother. It could be someone I've never met. It could be this person here. Yeah. Someone walked up and shot them in the head. I'd be like, oh my God, they've just murdered this person. Yeah. He didn't feel a thing, right? Yeah. But you've taken everything they have from them with one yeah. bullet. Yeah. You know? That's why murder is so bad. But there's a close connection between that person that you've seen because you've seen it yourself right there and then, isn't it? Yeah, but even if I if I heard about it, I'd still be like, oh my God, they're hearing about it. Even philosophically, I wouldn't yeah. want someone to be shot if there wasn't yeah. a yeah. good justification for it. Like yeah. they were no, running around. Want, nobody wants it, really. Nobody no, wants it. Yeah. But the, there's more of an effect when you see it in person than it is if you hear about it. Yeah. It's like we hear about what's going on in yeah, Ukraine and you know Russia. It's hard that. to connect. It's hard to connect sometimes yeah. with all these things and. You know, if we're there, we would be like going, oh my God, what's going on? But we're not there, so it's, it's a different kind of... It's kind of like, you got to like, imagine every time I pay for this, this happens. Maybe. Because there's, yeah. there's a direct supply and demand chain happening. I think it's about seeing more of the content of how they're being treated and showing it more to the True. big, you know, these big organisations to get that message across so they see it. Yeah. You know, yeah, that, that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's passing responsibility as well. Yeah. Like we're saying this organization should change, the, but you can't really change them when we're giving them all this money to keep doing what they're doing. You're saying, oh, change, change. The way we get these organizations to change and stop doing it is by removing our support for them, yeah. actually. That's what I think. If everyone removed their support, they wouldn't have an industry. They would be growing soya beans to make tofu burgers and uh, stop they killing animals. A lot of products, like they've got vegan Maryland cookies now, they don't taste any different. So no, when it's some amazing yeah. vegan stuff. Yeah, no, it it's really good these days. You know, you're gonna be hard pressed to find like 
an amazing vegan steak that tastes exactly the same. But then like you just have to weigh up, okay, so what do I get out of this steak? Taste, a flavor. What did I just take away from this animal? Their entire existence for a flavor. And you sort of start weighing that up, is that justified? I don't know, it's up to I, you. I see it from, I see it from both sides. I mm. really do. Yeah. And I, I respect both sides of that. Yeah. Obviously, when I say the other side, is not to the extreme. But there's that mindfulness, it's being mindful of what's happening. And I, I, I get that and I appreciate that. It's good to talk to you. It really was. Stuart. What's your name? I'm Stuart. Stuart. I'm Joey. And you're going to watch my family farm video. It's really nice to meet you. Take care. Cat. Vegan cat. A non-vegan Stuart, pre-vegan, oh. <laughs> soon to be vegan Stuart. <laughs> Listen, I'll watch your video and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, you know, like I said, Think I'll, about I'll, it, mate. Look, no one can force anyone to do anything, right? I mean, we're not, I can't like, oh, you stop killing the animals. I but think it's just being a bit mindful and just being a bit think aware, it through. Being, being conscious about it and making small subtle changes, which I'm happy to, to do that. And then if we can get a message across to those big organizations eventually, and they can have those restrictions and those rules put in, that will be the most amazing thing ever. That will make that will change people's minds about, you know, oh, the, the, the animals are being treated much better than they should. Be. Do you think it should be illegal to kill animals? Oh, should it be illegal to, to kill anything? You know, anyone. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think it should be illegal to kill but, things. But, but, but the thing is, though, is. I know, I'm not going to go into the question of the debate about survival and all that, but... Because, yeah, we're not trying to survive. We're not surviving, but, yeah. um, but, you know, it's things that we, you know, I do appreciate a good steak, I do appreciate a good chicken, but I look at the quality and how they've been treated, I, I do that. My family keep animals, lots of animals, you know, and they, they keep chickens and all that, so... So I, when I, you go to the restaurant tonight, are you going to say, let's oh, go no, show me the footage from the farm and the slaughterhouse? <laughs> Where's the slaughterhouse? <laughs> You should say to one so is this pig yeah. killed in the gas chamber or which gas chamber? Can we get the footage? No. Oh, yeah, they're not going to tell you if it's factory farmed or if they we suffered before they died or if they wanted to live or if no. they didn't know. But like I said, but like I said though, it's the, when you said the example there of seeing the person being shot compared to hearing about it and it can be... Hard to make the connection. Hard to make the connection. And I, like I said, I appreciate that and I would like to see, and I will see the footage for sure. Yeah, I, I think you analyse, uh, you know, what's going on. And then you can make it like an informed choice, make the connection, and then decide. Bit by bit, Joey. Bit by bit. bit, by bit mate. You'll get there, mate. Right. You'll get there. Lovely to meet you anyway. No worries. Take care. Bye. See you later. Bye bye.